What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube Draft. Mike is actually feeling all right. He's got them Percocets flowing through his, his bloodstream. So he's, he's here, and he's like, I'm going to do another Cube Draft with you because... Percocets. Whoa. Four out of eight, my dude. I had Chipotle last night. Shh, it's true. It's true. Add that lettuce. Gotta eat healthy. It's romaine, too. It's not like iceberg, which is... Which is... That's shit tier, unfortunately. I'll eat iceberg. I don't mind. But I acknowledge that it's shit tier lettuce. Your romaine's got a nice bite to it. And it's got... It's healthier. Do you know about that health? It's a, it's a little more caloric dense as well. You're a little more caloric dense. Did you guys... Did you guys see that? How bad he was gotten? That's crazy, dude. Romaine kills people more often, though. It's worth the risk. Ah, cha, 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 cha. It's my subscription, and I want it now, guys. Hit, hit me with them. Hit me with them prime subs or them regular subs. Support the stream right now. I need that. I need that stream support to feel good about my life. Plus, if the romaine kills me, I have no more pain. Ha ha, joke's on you. Got him, society. Killed by romaine? Take away that pain. That's a good rap. Yeah, man. I'm the ro I'm the lettuce I'm the lettuce rapper. No, I didn't get Thank a lettuce rap. Oh. Oh, thank cause, you. yeah, because Hodge Goulashi, that's totally a normal thing. Dude, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Destiny Trigger, French Fry, J Mo, Indira, Sneak Attack. Thank you so much. Thank really you. Really appreciate it, my dude. You are a solid gentleman. This is a good pack, though. We got an, an Emrakle, a Pestermite, or a Volcanic Island. Thank you. Got any stips in the queue? Oh, is Danny. Yeah, we have one stip in the queue. If you guys also want to hit me up with some stips, that would be cool. Thank you. I'm totally game for stip hits. We have not had a ton of stips this time, but it's... I don't know if the cube is, has been as enjoyable for everyone, so... I, I understand. But... Hajigalashi, thank you so much, dude. James, really appreciate it. You are awesome, man. I appreciate your support. You are a solid... A solid gentleman. Uh, the only stip... We did Crutch Jr. The only stip we have is Twitch Plays Magic by Dan Brown. Uh, we're going to probably try to do that tomorrow when he's available, which is basically the first person in chat to say the, a card to pick. That's the card we pick. So it's going to be pretty pretty ridiculous. Um, so what's... I want to pick Emrakul here. Right. But I also think Volcanic is a better pick. You like Volcanic over Pestermine? Yeah. Well, like, I'm going to just take the card thank that you, you. want to pick. And then we're just going to... We're going to get hit with that. Josh, thank you so much, dude. You are also ridiculous. You guys are both thank awesome. You. Thank you guys so much. Josh with the 195 gifted subs. That's reasonable. Hajigalashi with like 69 gifted subs. Also nice. Thank you. <laughs> um, the problem with this guy is that you can only sneak attack her through the breach him. Or you can just cast Thank him. Thank you. Hmm. I can always help, help tell how thirsty I am or how like maybe even dehydrated I am by how quickly I, I tend to drink the drinks that I have. Like, if I just feel like I'm naturally chugging them. I feel like you just take Ancient Tomb here, right? I was thinking Ancient Tomb. Busy playing some Borderlands, but I've got you on the background. Josh, dude, that's actually... I always think that's super cool when I'm just, like, hanging... Because I feel like I'm kind of, like, hanging out with you guys. I'm just in the background. I don't actually... I, I think that's actually kind of cool. I think your cube steps are down this time because while still fun, this cube just... I, that's what that's that's literally what I've been thinking. Um, TIE Fighter MTG. Also, uh, my information... The information is in the description below. You can check that out. But 35 is just the baseline I use because, uh, you know, it's it takes like two hours. It's $10 to enter. So it's just kind of like... it's It usually takes up... It's the, it's, the, uh, it's the cost for like the time and the entry fee. But I'm always willing to like work with people if they want to support the channel and if they don't have that that much. Like I totally understand because... It's not like a it's not like a hard and fast druid. Druid? I was thinking druid. I was also thinking bitter blossom here. Yeah, bitter blossom's pretty good. Yeah, I like bitter blossom. But I kinda just want to be green too. Wanna be green? 
It goes better with Emrakul. We're green. Oh, show and tell. No, that, that can be... I mean, if we have Emrakul and show and tell. Like, show, Emrakul's the one thing that I feel like I'm safe playing with a show and tell. Oh, I feel like we might just have to do it. We never play show and tell because it's kind of a trap. They always put, take that good boy Ismaro. You always want to be like... um. Like, I feel like I'd, I always put like something into play and then they'll put like Sower of Temptation or Oblivion Ring into play and then they'll just kill whatever I play. But um, I feel like Emrakul is one of the few things that... Um, is like worth the risk. Yeah, I think Emrakul is worth the risk. There's also Llanowar, Llanowar Elves, which is not bad. My table though. This I think this might table actually. Show and tell will probably table. I'm going to take the elves and maybe the show and tell comes back. Look, it's old man not playable. Oh God, this card just drives me insane. It's a card that seems really good. And in a slow format where you don't want to like be doing anything, like it's fine. But like in cube, this guy is just a dirtle. Like if you put the lands in the play, that'd be amazing. Like what if they, what if they replace you my elder with like veteran explorer? Where like you're just ramping both better. players and you got to take her. Like it's kind of a risk. Thank you. Hodge Kalashi with the gift of tub sub to Typhoon or MTG. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, buddy. I'm, I'm just gonna, I mean, I'm just probably just going to take it anyway because it's like the best card in this pack for us. Whatever. I don't feel great about it, but. You know who this is? It's your boy. Is it your boy? This is, like my, this is my favorite eight drop in the cube. I think Crater Hoof is the most powerful 8-drop. I think Woodfall Primus is my favorite 8-drop. Well, a decision needs to be made here, I guess. Um, I mean, blue-green's a more color common. A more color common? A more uh, common color combo. Kettle, kettle corn... <laughs> I'd take the rogue. Kettle. I was thinking that too, especially if we get like Badlands. an opposition. Badlands could be good too. Mana Confluence is also fine. I really don't mind a Mana Confluence. Yeah, it's easy to splash. I'm just gonna take the Mana Confluence. I actually like Mana Confluence more than most people. I think. Oh, I like a Whisperwood Elemental. I'm also looking forward to a Tooth and Nail. That's another good way to put this dude into play. We really need a second color here. Probably just Assassin's Trophy, right? Yeah, that are Evolving Wilds. Or Liliana put, like, Woodfall Primus into play. That's pretty good. Favorite eight drop Nickel Bolas is coming for you. That's fair. Which one is it? I think it's I think it's Assassin's Trophy. It's less yeah. it's less of a commitment and uh Oh, Hissing Quagmire. We get rewarded. Yep. <laughs> How many of those do we want? Were you here when uh when we were at one? I said early in the draft while I was drafting, I was like, I'll probably take City of Brass, but I really hate it and I wish it was Mana Confluence. Um, and then in round one, we're at one life. Our opponent plays opposition. We're about to win because they can't really do anything with the opposition. And then they tap one of their creatures to tap our city of brass and kill us. And I was like, cool. Yep. Nailed it. Um, yeah, maybe. I have my doubts, though. Oh, actually, there's no step. There is no step right now. Oh, dang it. Okay, we did it. All right. Uh, people have always known show and tell isn't good. I haven't played against the show and tell in months. <laughs> um, the thing is, like Emer like I said, like we said, uh, Emrakul is probably the best reason to to that's, even try it. That's a tooth and nail. Bro. That is a tooth and nail, and we have the Emrakul and a Woodfall Primus. So we are we are on the green train. Hopefully, this noble hierarch or Karn or an ancestral vision comes back. But, uh, you know. Oh, Plow Under? Oh, I like a Plow Under. I think it's, yeah. I think it's just Plow Under here. Oh, Billy Biscuits. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, well, we're doing it. We have all the pieces. All now the, we just need to take all the ramp. If that Thrag Tusk or Hinterland Harbor comes back, we are in good shape. Favorite eight drop in the Spirit Dragon. That's a good one too. I think it's funny because eight drops in Magic, um, obviously they should, but 
there's so many eight drops in Magic that when you cast them, they just win the game. And that, like I said, that makes sense. But there's also a lot of shitty eight drops too, where you're just like, oh, well, this like there's a lot of seven drops that don't win the game. They're just kind of dirtily. I think I mean like I, I think more so there's like there's a lot of iconic eight drops that win the game where you're like, oh, this was this eight drop was a major player in this deck or you know like Nicol Bolas, Ugin, Crater Hoof, Woodfall Primus. Favorite three drop Karn Liberated. Uh, how do I? What's going on here? Uh, Shut up and take my money. Out for. Phil, sip for a spicy chance. Pick pack one, third from the right, and must play last pick of pack three. Hold on, let me I'm actually write that down. I'm gonna untime you out. Okay, that was just for funsies. What are we taking here? Farseek? Ulamog? Probably lens. Oh no, Farseek's well Farseek's we better. No, we don't have any duels yet. Uh, yeah, well, we'll get them. Okay. See? Look, we got a Gilded Lotus. I'd definitely take the Lotus here. Yeah, it's either Mindstone, Jace, Gilded Lotus, and that's pretty much it. How many is too many? Don't think we need that one too. I think we're actually good on fat boys. I think we want to devote a druid here. I, I agree. Also, necromancy is not terrible. The problem with necromancy is getting into the graveyard when you're playing this green deck. It's just not super likely. <laughs> uh, got that. Got that biovisionary timeout for saying favorite three drop Karn Liberated. Worth it. And a blank. Yeah, this card, this pack is pretty bad. I think Domri's fine. If we end up playing it somehow, whatever. We have a Mana Confluence and a City of Brass and an Ancient Tomb. All of our lands can deal us 900 damage before we die. What was it like? Did you see things, experience sights and sounds unlike ever before while in the timeout zone? Highway to the timeout zone. You know about that timeout zone. Do you still need to remod people after time? I was actually wondering that. Yes, I apparently do. Um, actually, artisan seems good here when we have these two, or these three. It's also just a nice way to get um some card filtering going. We could also get fauna shaman. But I think yeah. this is just a better Fauna Shaman, right? Oh, Mana War? Oh, Vanifer? Is Vanifer good here? We can sack Yavimai Elder into a 4-drop if we get it. I don't want to play Yavimai Elder. I'd rather just play Mana War. I still think this is better than it, though. Really? Well, if we get, like, Prime Time, like, we can... we can. Yeah, it's just a 2-4 for 4. I mean, I think it's... I think it's worth picking up. Um... How do I... Thank you! Oh, it's all... Do I have to, like... How do I How do I mod people again? Just click the sword icon? There is... Where? That's a, that's a pencil. That lets you edit things. You don't know... You don't know what... It, you don't know the difference between a sword and a pencil, Michael? Take the Greaves. This is why you failed in no, school. Wait, just kidding. Take the QR. I think QR is probably better than Greaves here. Although Greaves not an Emrakul. Pretty good. Uh, Snooze Lamu, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. All right, hold on. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to mod. How do you remod people, man? What if I can, like, I'm gonna go here? I can go. It doesn't actually say. Do I click here? No, that's just block and report. That's weird. Is the only way to mod people through the chat? 
Eh, Huntmaster's good. It goes well with our Domri if we're playing the red. Buried alive. Chainer's Edict. I'll take a Chainer's Edict. Oh, Bone Shredder. All right, so we're actually also looking pretty... Oh, wow. Buried Alive into Necromancy? Oh, man, I wish I took the Buried Alive. Good Lord. Which is kind of funny, because all of those last picks didn't really do anything for our deck. Another Ulamog. Got a Rex Sage, which I really like. Yeah, I would just take Rex Sage here. Also an Edric. Okay, Mod... Mod, is it? Yeah, that's got to be right, right? That didn't work. <laughs> Mod user? I don't know what the command is. I guess you're just stuck. This is just, this is your life now. Is Breeding Bull in the cube? Yeah, oh, it's Backslash? That's weird. Oh, there we go. We did it. Oh, we also did it with this little lady. Yeah, that's a really good pickup. Oh, 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 she's a lady. You're lucky Haji Golashi got you back in the back in the mod zone. Get in the zone. The mod zone. So we could take this stomping ground and then we can get it with far seek. And then play Domri and Huntmaster, which is pretty cool. Or we can take a Garrick or a Wickabilda. Yeah, we're going to a Rex Sage. I kind of like the Stomping Ground here. Sure. It turns on two very good cards in our deck. Oh, Umazawa's Jitte? And Eternal Witness? <sighs> Jitte in the green deck, though? I like you would. Over Jitte? Maybe not. I don't know. I want Jitte, man. Jitte is unbeatable. Oh, Bird of Paradise. Bird of Paradise. Bird of Paradise. Not even close. Oh, well, sword. What if we just hit a Stone Forge, Mister? Well, that would that would be stupid because we're not even playing white. <laughs> I think it's still sword, right? There's nothing in this pack yeah. for us. We still need some cards here. Our deck's kind of iffy. I'm not even sold on this. I thought we'd get... So well, we can sack Huntmaster into Whisperwood. Sack Rexage into Huntmaster. The problem is, like, we have, like, Coming one creature. We have, like, one Whisperwood. We have one four drop. <sighs> yeah. Our deck does have some awkward... If you think this is going to make me stop talking about Tron, you'd be wrong. Yeah, well... You don't press your luck. Can I get this with, uh... Nope. Okay. It's funny because you can't show and tell Planeswalkers because this they, they didn't exist at the time. Um, ugh, this pack is bad, but it has good cards in it. Animate Dead is funny. Now we have Necromancy and Animate Dead. Jeez. I'm just going to take this. Oh, Rootbound Crag is nice. I like Rootbound sure. Crag. We're still missing like one playable here. Hanger back? Ain't no hang of my Actually, Edric could be pretty decent for us. We just don't have any creatures that get in there. Is really the problem. It's also blue, which is awkward. <sighs> could just be hanger back. We could cast blue. Yeah, we could cast. We could use this for the black, and then we'd have a green and a blue. That's pretty funny. I want to take the Edric. I don't know if that's correct. I really have no idea. I think our mana is the toughest thing about this deck. I like the blue cards that we have. Um, fine. <laughs> Hunter just went. <laughs> wow, <laughs> we're getting like all the reanimate pieces, which is pretty insane. Is that better than just Rexine Revoker? I'm like tempted to just play the black for some reason. Yeah, I don't hate it. Like we have hissing quagmire, I'm just gonna take it. Living death. What if that buried alive came back? That'd be funny. Kite sail through. Our black seems very good. I 
I feel like we got all the nuts pieces here, but we didn't get a lot of the the like the filler pieces. Yeah, we didn't get like our fellows. Or like even a bunch of mana elves. Like I guess these were late, but I feel like we're just missing something. I do kind of like Spellskite. I don't love Prime Speaker here. If we had like a seven drop or a six drop, like if we can go Whisperwood into Primeval Titan, I'd be like we got the nuts, but not the bolts. That's a good way to cast it. Or say it. <laughs> you didn't cast it. Yeah, it would kind of hurt. That's Let's really... Play like this. I think this is fine, actually. Can we test out the black? What does the adding in black look like? Are we cutting anything else? The problem is, like, even with the black, we don't have ways to get things into the graveyard. Yeah, that's true. Both re both reanimate and necromancy, though. Well, and animate dead. Like, we have our, a... Our, our, their graveyard as well. Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, all three of these are. Right. The problem is with being a blue-black-red deck, we don't actually... Or a blue-green-red deck, we don't actually have ways to kill things. I mean, in theory, we cut the red. For the black? Right, yeah. Uh, I mean, even if we show and tell a Woodfall Primus, it's still pretty good. We can also show and tell, like... On turn six, we could have, like, three or four guys and show and tell a Crater Hoof and just kill them. Yeah. I think I think this is a decent show and tell deck as far as show and tell decks go. Do we have an ancient tomb here? Oh yeah. How much mana how much damage are we taking from these lands? We're just like naturally adding Ugh. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is what seven blue sources. Yeah, we could probably go with six. Uh, I don't actually want to red. Um, we have Bird of Paradise. We have Rupa and Crag, Stomping Ground, Mana Confluence, Far Seek, Incubation Druid. If we already have a red, I guess eh, it's kind of meh. So this is five sources. Um, we have nothing that just gets a, only a basic land. I don't think eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm going to ten here. Five, six. I'm going to seven here. This is thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I think that's fine. Yeah, not great, but. It's what we got, man. It's what we're working with. This deck's missing like a Rafelos and one other ramp card, probably. You're missing a Rafelos. I am. Do do do. Michael's got a bum leg. I'm gonna cut it off while he sleeps. Please do. Thankfully, all of our blue and red cards are only one mana each. One of each. I'm going to keep this hand. It's a little interesting. If we hit, like, turn one, draw a tree speaker, that's pretty good, because then we can go turn two. Now we can. Well, butter my biscuits. Don't brain bang at me, bro. Oh, Prismatic Lenzo. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Well, at least our Tooth and Nail only costs seven mana now. Yeah, this is this is a pretty decent Tooth and Nail, especially with Ancient Tomb. We're just going to run out of uh, an Edric next turn and just attack normally. Oh, what do you get? What do you get? I'll get a Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt. Oh, that's like that's basically a lightning bolt. Mm. I has a sad. See, we could have played Ancient Tomb here, and then if we drew a forest, we could play Plow Under next turn. I've made our life real awkward, unfortunately. Although, if we don't draw a forest, then I guess it's all fine. Oof. That's just worse. Okay, we didn't draw the forest. Well, we're still gonna do this and then pass here. If only we had a red source. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're getting real close. If we can draw land, we can put. Nah, eh, they're real ahead right now. It could still cost nine because they have Is It Charm. True. True. 
Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? Michael, look. It's Grandma. Chosen color is blue. But this makes any color? If you have all the colors in the world, I would just kill the more efficient one. Yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah, use that ability. Would you like to use this ability? Well, sure. Yes, I'd love to. Been on YouTube recently, catching up with you. Ew, you're skinny. What's going on, buddy? Uh Oh. Oh, there we go. That's that's what we're talking about. Get that thing out of here. Top deck green source. Mm. Did you guys see how I how I just spilled drink all over myself? It just came right all over my face. I'm a I'm a complete animal. Okay. Well. <laughs> hmm. You're really giving me a hard time here. Get in there. Oh. A block, eh? Classic. Sometimes I just take a day off from watching the stream so I can binge YouTube videos. Maybe I maybe I spoil you guys then. Oh. Well. You go for it. What's the worst that could happen? They counter, I guess. Try again. Try again. Try, try again. I'll choose this guy. They didn't have anything? Oh, God. Don't have treachery. Ooh. Well, if they have treachery, let's us draw a... Uh, a green so we can woodfall primus i'm waiting for it to say we're waiting to cast things oh. <sighs> i'm about to bust oh god i went to combat went to main phase oh boy it's our turn again are they gonna pester like this <laughs> that's cute isn't that cute i would really like another green source here that's a green source, I guess. Alright, they got one more turn. And this is where they probably go Splinter Twin kill us. <laughs> Clifftop. Okay, I don't see them doing that. Do they have Pestermite here too? Because that would be funny. I'd laugh. We got that second green source too. Oh, also, if we just plow them under here, it's pretty unbeatable, I think, because they don't have anything. What is this? Three, four, Cyclonic Rift. Yeah. Okay. So now we just use a nail, right? I'm tempted to plow under. Why? Uh, because they could still draw a Splinter Twin and kill us next turn if we Tooth and Nail. Whereas, like, if we plow under, they're going to miss two draw steps, which gives us an extra turn. They draw a card. It's a land. Goes to our turn, we Tooth and Nail. They draw another land. Okay. You sold me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, sure. Um, oh, they have Marsh Flats, though. They can just... They can just crack that and... Yeah, they could just crack that and shuffle the lands away, though. So I think we actually do tooth and nail here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get rid of the white source, I think. No, well, they got. They still have city brass, prismatic lens, and marsh flats, though. I don't think it really matters here. I guess a blue source then. All right. Hope you don't top deck it, I guess. This is my Raisin Harmonica. Here we go. 
Here we go. Okay, six mana, not five. Okay, that's... That's not relevant. That's not a thing I care about. They have one card. Hunter's still giving us a grumble. Oh, they took two from that? Fascinating. Okay, they take one more. What is going on here? Pestermite? Jeez. They have it all. And they have it now. Wow. Deceiver Exarch into Cyclonic Rift into Pestermite. So we take five, six, seven, eight, but they're guaranteed to draw two lands. And they don't have any answers. Yep, uh, Flower Machine is right here. Oh, they get to draw a card, though. Nah, that sucks. Yes. <sighs> Either way, we need to fade a turn, so is drawing them a card bad, right? The problem is I can just jump block here, which is really frustrating. Five, six. We go to eight, and then they hit us for one more, and then any spell. Should we do it? Is it even worth it? They have no cards in hand, right? Right, so they're drawing one card either way. Oh, uh, it's whenever they draw a card? Yeah, alright, so we're just going to not play a Llanowar Elf and have it get eaten. <sighs> yeah, so we actually would have taken two points here. One from the Plow Under and one from the Niv Move It. One from the Natural Raw. So we would have dealt five, six, seven, eight. Puts us to six. God, I can't believe they dealt with this so efficiently. Like, Deceiver Exarch into Kick Cyclonic Rift into Pestermite, like, really really resilient draws home okay I think you kill this And they're all like factor, factor fiction. <laughs> nope, five mana now. Muldrifter. Burst Lightning, our face. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, that doesn't kill us. Oh, all right. Man, Nivmiz is a hell of a drug. So they block here, they sack six lands, and then we die. Well, we can play the birds. Well, they just shoot with Niv when they draw a card. Oh, yeah, true. I mean, we're just hoping they don't 
have a way to deal us three extra points of damage. Ugh, it's just amazing. These draws have been actually perfect. Burst Lightning and Memory Lapse. Wow, so you'd like two cards draw you two cards and then like you put us to exactly enough to kill us. That's just amazing. Just like absolutely incredible. Like I can't even like fathom how lucky you have to be to have that series of draws. Wait, can you play the land wars though there and we still lived? No, they have a Pestermite and a Niv Mizzet. They attack with both. We take two and we deal one damage to us at the beginning of the turn from the draw. Oh yeah, true. That's stupid. I agree with you. It is quite stupid. I'm gonna take one of the blues out for one of the greens. Like we wanted, we had a really hard time hitting double blue here, and also, actually, yeah, my elder gets us basic lands, so maybe we do want like one basic mountain. Mm. We could also I could also see wanting Assassin's Trophy or Bone Shredder in here because their creatures are kind of obnoxious. I think it's fine like this. I don't know, man. Like, like I said, our deck feels like it has some gaps to fill. Like it has, it doesn't have great ways to deal with creatures. It's not super fast. Like we ended up getting an, uh, an Emrakul out, and they just had really good answers for it, unfortunately, but. Like three to four in a row. I'm drinking diet caffeine free Dr. Pepper. It's just black carbonated water. Yeah, but it's delicious black carbonated water. And isn't that the important part? And burst lightning. Yep, never fails. And literally no ramp, so we're just playing natural Kiora on... Ah, maybe we just play Kiora and put a land into play? I don't know. Spells are kind of hard. Or in Power Stone. Give me a Rex Sage. That's not a Rex Sage. We have two lands, so I'm definitely going to just put a land into play here. I don't foresee Kiora surviving long enough to ultimate... And if they do have like Splinter Twin or Kiki Jiki, I'd rather just not lose to that. I'd rather dig a little deeper to find one, two, three, four, way to stop it. Sure. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Low tie. Artisan. That seems good. Unfortunately, if we discard this guy, um, we don't get to persist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I, I almost, I think we're just playing this, even though like casting. Well, the difference is if they have a counter spell, it's bad. Right. Biscuits around the counter spell. Got to walk to the other side of the hospital for some coffee and maybe a snack. Be back in 20. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Okay, you ready? Emrakul. One, two, three, four. That's actually pretty good here. Mike wants it all. And Mike wants it now. Did you guys know about Mike? He wants it all and wants to know. What kind of counter spell they could have one blue? They could have memory lapse, but I don't think we actually care about that. Don't die, Michael. Also, it's possible we don't care about the persist because this does actually draw you a card. So it's draw you a card and put one copy of... Woodfall Primus into the battlefield that doesn't persist. It's not terrible. Is it charm can only counter non creature spells? Are we just dead here? <laughs> oh, we have Spell Skite, so I don't think we're dead. Uh, sure. I 
Actually, we can't redirect Kiki Jiki, so we gotta hope it's Splinter Twin, I guess. Yeah, we should have been redirecting. We should have redirected the Deceiver the, the, the Exarch trigger to the Spell Skite. <sighs> We're just really hoping they don't have Kiki Jiki, I guess. Splinter Twin, we can easily play around. Although we didn't see Splinter Twin. Now Lucky drew another thing. Okay, once we go to combat, I'm like, good stuff. Also, any card we draw is now just like filtered through this, which is great. Oh, Resto. Sure. No, I'm good, thanks. Crater Stomping Ground. It's actually not bad. Because now we can attack with this guy, and it's almost guaranteed to draw us a card unless they double block. Which they might. Oh, we just get to draw a card. Seems good. I like drawing cards. We can play that now too. Man, our uh, our crater host looking better and better. Who's the guy hanging out behind you? This is Mike. Is he hanging out behind me? He's like my side, right? Play right here. Ow. That's his contribution to the stream. We're just trying to fade the kajikum jikums here. Well, every time we go to the combat step, I'm like, let's do it. Sounds good. Having spell skite out is also pretty nice. Well, if we exile this, we just get a token of it, right? Right. Yeah, that's fine. We get to keep the, the land in hand until next turn, so. Mao. I mean, they'll probably block here, but that's fine. Give me them crabs. They are as empty as my Colby seems to. Actually, I kind of want to keep this up for one, two, three, four, Wispy Wood. Hey, man, you ever been to Wispy Wood? Yeah, I go there every day. Me too, bro. Me too. For man, eh? Okay. It's gonna be a creator hoof. You ready? That'd be great. Oh, it's far seek. I could. I don't want to draw that anyway. That would be no, because it's it's when it enters the battlefield. Also, flipping it wouldn't do anything. All right, marsh flats. Marsham McFlatham's. Yeah, so flipping won't do anything. Right, oh. correct. Ooh. Ooh. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, God. That's stupidly good. I'm cringing really hard right now. Uh, sacrifice it until the end of face up. On when this creature dies, manifest the top card. I can't redirect this to myself, right? Or redirect it to spell spell no. rather. Yep, that's pretty good. Congratulations. Hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so we're actually, our plan is to just to cast this next turn. One, 
three, four, five, six. So we're going to play Spellskite, Farseek, Devoted Druid. That gives us three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Hope to hit a land. Oh, wait. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, mm, that's rough. Oh, all we do is hit a land, I guess. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, we're at 14. It's so close. <sighs> Come on, Splinter Twin. Not Kiki Jiki. Well, that doesn't look like it, but they're keeping themselves up for. Yeah, that's drawing four cards deep is pretty insane. You're seeing like 25% of your deck, and now they're just going to play Splinter Twin, or Kiki Jiki, rather. That sucks. Oh, nope, going to combat again. Huh. Because you had decided to buy all the equipment for streaming, your humor and comedy is great for this community. I hope I can do the same. Land the main, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That is awesome to hear. I hope your streaming goes well. Many great wishes and many pots of fishes to you. So many pots of fishes. Well, they have three cards. What is the state of MTG? Solid. Rock solid. Land. Hmm. Five, Interesting. Six. Well, it's still pretty good, is it not? Both of these can attack as well. So if we just get Crater Hoof. That would be, yeah, that should be legal. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, how about Huntmaster Crater Hoof? Sure. Just to put more bodies on the board. Or Rex Sage to kill the... Doesn't matter, they're just dead. I mean, they might not be, though. I just want to make sure they are. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is definitely one. Well, Woody Boy's just a better Rex Sage, I guess. Yeah. Are they dead? I just want to make sure. I really just want to make sure. They're at seven. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I like that Devoted Druid Norse Spells Guide has Defender. Oh, we just won the game. Crater Hoof is a hell of a drug, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Oh, and that would have been the land for the Emrakul next turn. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, that was only game... Mm -hmm. They won the first game. That's yikes. That's yikesville. Is this round one? Oh, my God. We are in for a... Oh, order food time. Oh, yeah, you're right. Delivery. Continue. Let's see if they just if they haven't logged us out yet. Oh, sweet. Chicken bowl, two chicken, white rice, black beans, roasted corn salsa, tomatillo, green chili salsa, sour cream, fajita veggies, cheese, romaine lettuce, one chips and guac. How much tip? Two bones. Sure. Delay of game, the delivery estimate has changed. Whatever. It'll be about like 10. Resubmit the order? I don't care about it. I just, that's fine. You don't have to like change it. Uh, this hand seems like trash. I'm going to mulligan it. This hand seems better. I'm going to keep it. I will put a green on the bottom. Oof. All right. Estimated 947. Oh my god, please don't have six our turn! Oh, thank goodness. 
Jesus. That could have been a nightmare. <laughs> Master! Master! Master of Hunter! I'm just gonna get a stomping ground here. Oh, Michael B. What's going on? He's ordering Chipotle. What a Michael, Michael B. Can you counter this? Sure. Buddy, you're getting plowed next turn. You got plowed! That's probably not true. They're probably going to, is it charm it? And they're going to bounce one of our lands. And it's going to be so sad. Actually, now they don't have the mana to do anything, so they are getting plowed. Unless they have spell pierce. They ain't got no spell pierce. <whistles> Buddy. Island Steamy Boy. I mean, they get to bounce one of our lands too, but I don't even care. Who even, who even cares? It, it doesn't go on the top. You're right. All right, let me remember pack one, third from the right. So we just always have to take the third from the right. That's just pack one, right? So we're going to put it up here. Yeah, we're just going to have six here. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you wait, my dude. Okay. Amped fill. Uh, pack one, third from the right, and must play last pick of pack three. Okay, that's actually, that's pretty reasonable. We can manage that. One thing we're missing is, like, good planeswalkers. We have, like, no planeswalkers in the deck. True. Wait, they played this untapped? That's yeah. fascinating. They're just gonna shock. They're gonna... Oh, they're gonna is it charm this guy? Sure. Or the other one, the, uh... Electrolyze is what you're thinking? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so. It's also raining, so that's even worse for you to go pick up Chipotle, you know? True. Oh, well, that's really obnoxious. Yeah, that's pretty good. Can we just draw Gilded Lotus here? That would be really good. I mean, Land of Worlds is not terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not great, though. We just happen to have two eight drops in our hand. <laughs> just pack one, pick one third from the right. Third from the right? So there's going to be two rows though, right? Top row or bottom row? Oh my god, really? This is this has been pretty bad. Yep. Me no likey. Me no likey. This is where they just go to see Rex Arc block. Me no likey breadsticks. Yeah, unfortunately, they just have to show us one counter spell. This game's basically over. But I want to see two of them. Tempted to play this into Crater Hook. If they have nothing, it's good. True. Because I don't think Woodfall Prime is going to do the job. No. So. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then everybody gets it just might work. Oh, what a mark! I mean, if they have any burn, like burst lightning or electrolyze, which we've seen, or if they have like a pester might at the end of the turn, then we're dead. But if they don't, it's just crazy enough to work. I mean, if they have nothing, we might be able to get away with it. Oh my god. Ha ha ha! Oh, never don't have it, huh? Sounds good. <sighs> Dang, 
was rough. Never don't have that. Are you 1964? Yeah, that was a good year. We meet again for the first time now. Introducing Mike to Vanessa. Mike, also, could you please say "Hola, Vanessa"? Ten una linda noche. No noche. She does not speak English, but finds the stream fun. <laughs> Man, does that count, Mike? You have to, Mike, say this. Hola, Vanessa. Te una linda noche. I'm sure I butchered that, but no, you did great. You're beautiful. Oh wow, that was a great draw. You know, I'm just gonna give you twenty dollars. Wow, thirty-five extra, thirty-six extra cents. This is how I make most of my money. I'll pay for Mike's food, and then he'll just round it up, and I'll get thirty cents every now and then. Man, you're really killing in the market. I'm base. I'm basically bankrupting him very, very slowly. This is how I built my raisin empire, guys. No, I don't want to rate your app. Yes, you do. Fucking god, dang. Hey, buddy, rate my app. Hey, man. Yeah. What do I play here? Eddie Boy? Mm hmm. Or Yavi Boy? Eddie Boy. Yeah. As a green deck, if they can't make a dude here that efficiently blocks, then we're going to be drawing some Craddy Boys. Them Craddy Boys are at it again. Seems fine. I accept. Yes. Draw. Give me a thing. Uh, I'll play Elder now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Elder can attack, which is more important for me. Yeah, that's why I like. Yeah, that. all right. Codine, what's going on? Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Codine, what's it like working in the hospital? Like, I, I assume you're working in the hospital. And my question is: Is there a lot of like downtime? At the like, cause it's like nine. It's nine o'clock. I don't know what what time zone you're in. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're so close yet so far. They're gonna just block here. I guess we just tag with this guy, and they have to just chump. Otherwise, they block here and block here, and I don't think this is a great trade, especially if Crater Hoof is on is on the menu. One, two, one, two, three, four. God, we're so close. To, we're also so close to just being able to play Incubation Druid and uh, pump it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. Out, am I? <laughs> I'm something of a scientist myself. I mean, also, it's, the, it's possible we just draw Crater Hoof and then just cast it with uh, Tooth and Nail. Yeah, I don't care about that. I have a Rex Sage, my dude. You just gave me just you just give me a reason. I work in the communication center. It's my second job. I'm a school teacher, has a big boy job. I hate that as a school teacher you have to have a second job. Maybe you don't have to, but I hate that you do have a second job as a school teacher. That makes me super depressed. I work in the ER, I can never imagine having time to do anything else. What does that mean? Explain what that means is like someone as a as a hospital lay no, see I, I told you. We're just gonna draw, I told you. Why don't you ever listen to me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's just game, right? What do they get pumped by? Oh, we can actually we can actually not play this and we'll pump them both. Yeah, we'll just do this. Because then everybody gets big bigs. Oh, they're I can't I can't click it because they've conceded. Yep, alright. Crater Hoof is not a real card. Sword of Feast and Famine, definitely coming in. Emergency room always full of patients and always having crazy stuff coming in. Okay, that's what I thought. I wasn't sure if it was like Well, that's the emergency room though. What if you're like working in a regular hospital at night? Like it feels like there'd be a lot of downtime there, right? No man, emergencies happen at night. But not the emergency room, like just the regular hospital. Oh. 
because not everybody works in the emergency portion of the oh, of the sure, hospital. Sure, you know sure. what I mean? Like student loan payments suck balls. Boy, do they! I wouldn't know because mine have been. Uh, I've gotten forbearance for like fifteen years. I think we're just fine, right? Oh, I guess we gotta take out a card. No, we don't. We can go 41, right? Sure. Why are we playing 41 naturally? God, it feels so I think, weird. I thought we were. Regular parts of hospital can be slower at night, but usually still lots to do. Man. Um, I don't hate this hand, but against another green deck, it is a little scary. What do you think? Well, you already kept it, so it doesn't matter what I think. Right, but do we do it? Do we run this out on turn three with a woodfall? I don't know. Let's see what they do. All right. Did you say you already kept it? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's up, you barbobbly booze? Uh, we're called barbobbly boys. Thank you very much. Hopefully we'll just draw an emerald. Also, if you guys are enjoying the stream, definitely consider subscribing or even following. Both of those things are pretty sweet things you can be doing with your buttons you can uh, you can move your little mouse over to the subscribe button and if you have twitch prime you get a free sub if you guys are watching on youtube head on over to twitch and subscribe with the twitch prime it's super cool it's a cool thing to do oh god this is gonna be so bad i hate i hate show and tell so much <laughs> they got a devoted druid oh they're done so Dang it. Why do they always have cool lands on top? Two lands on top? Well, they got a forest on top. Should I play your crater who can kill us? Oh, oh boy. Um, I don't even think I care about that, to be honest with you. It's a little annoying. All right, whatever. None of these cards are any good. Try me, boy. Doesn't this guy just kill you? Tell us more about the sweet things to do with our buttons. Well, you see, you can also direct your buttons to meundies.com slash franklapore. You will get some sweet 15% off uh, and, and free shipping on some super comfortable micromodal fabric underwear, lounge pants. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> well, we're dead. Are we? Yes. We take we to 17. Mm-hmm. Oh, crying out loud. We know we're drawing a land. We did know that. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. That's actually not a tremendous amount of damage, right? Sixteen plus five. Well, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everybody's eight. getting plus four. So four creatures getting plus four is sixteen damage. Plus they have five, six, seven, eight. So it's only twenty-four damage. Um and we can soak up seven of it, so we'd go to like three. It actually doesn't put us in that bad of a position. It's pretty terrible, don't get me wrong. Snaky boy's gone. Cordy boy is coming. All right, man. So if this guy becomes a 6-6, six, six, we just block here. We take 5 plus 4 plus 4. Or plus 4 plus 5. So 10, we take 14, we go to 3. We can also just chump and take one less. But then we get the two lands out of it. I don't know. Probably better to keep this on board for when these guys are normal sized. The point is we don't die. That's really the, the moral of the story. This is the moral of the story. The minor river and drown the whole world. The she looks so sad in photograph. Mike be absolutely loves her when she smiles. Um, so this is what five and nine and wait, hold on. Did I did I do the math wrong? Probably. So 9 plus 4 is 13. 14, 15, 16, 17. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, how did I mess up the math? Everyone's getting plus 4. Mm -hmm. So it's 16. Plus 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 24. Uh -huh. Right? 16 plus 8 is 24. We block 6 of it, and we go to 18. Oh, I see what happened there. Math does not... 
Guys, I have an English degree, so I don't really want to. I don't want to really discuss. I want to discuss maths and things. I really don't like show and tell here. It's kind of scary. I guess if they play, I guess if we play show and tell and they put into play crater hoof, I don't really care because it's no, on. It's that, on our yeah, turn. That's, not, that's irrelevant. Yeah. All right. So I'll just we'll just roll back. Who the heck does sing that song? That's a good question. This is the story of the girl. Trying to drown the whole... I don't know who sings that song, actually. That's a good question. I will play first. I'll keep this hand. Oh, yeah, this hand is gasoline. We got an 8 drop and a 15 drop and a red card we can't cast. But we have a tree speaker. What could go wrong? I like that this is like... I can't cast it because... It's grayed out for some reason. I'm going to get in there for a point because I feel like every point in this matchup matters because of things like Crater Hoof. But with no Google Alert, nobody knows who sings that song. And don't act like you might have known because it's physically impossible to know. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, we're not going to get damage in because they have literal the guy who prevents us from getting damage in. But that's, a, that's fine. It's definitely not Goo Goo Dolls, no. No, you're, that is not Goo Goo Dolls slide. Let's see how we're looking on here. Oh, I gotta click the orders my food, don't I? Yeah, that's. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Heading to restaurant. We're getting there. Oh, I like that Nissa was the play. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we had any good six drops in our deck, I'd say we're in pretty good shape, but. Uh... Spoiler alert, we don't. Spell Skite. God, we need a red source and a ramp thing and wait, this is an elf, right? Mm hmm Huh. So here's what we're gonna do. Add to level up. Oh god, that's I did it wrong. Fudge. No, I didn't. I guess it's fine. We couldn't have done it all anyway. I want to actually make it so that we can tap this guy for mana too. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we actually should have, maybe we should have pumped this guy on turn three instead of attacking because attacking doesn't do anything. And Edric being an elf is super relevant. But I don't know, they only have five lands, which is actually not a tremendous amount for a green deck. They discards Goslick, sure. Get Oracle of Moldaya. Come on, man. Everybody gets Oracle Moldaya. Yeah, exactly. Oh, here we go. Oh. Snakey boy. He's back. Oh, look. They get to put it into play. They get to just draw it. Play it. And they're probably not going to draw this for us because they're going to... Oh, boy. Oh boy. That's pretty good. Oh boy. We killed our Nissa. God, there's no way to use four mana here. That's sad. And we get to draw a card. Can we we can kill their Nissa. I don't know if I want to like we get to draw a card, make them discard and untap our lands. Yeah, that's pretty good. I do like killing the Nissa, though. Yeah, but, like, the creature they make is irrelevant. They already have an Oracle out, so they're... Yeah, but being able to draw, like, to get past... The, like, if they have a, a spell on top of their library next turn, they can draw with Nissa and then find more lands. It's definitely... It's not Third Eye Blind. It's not Third Eye... Like, these, guys, these bands don't sound anything like this song. No, they do not. 
draw, like we're missing land drops. One, two, three, four, five, six lands. Yeah, that's why I kind of want to get a draw here. Just kind of want to go, want to get a draw here. Then again, this is like their only thing they have going on right now. Right. Yeah, I think we're going to hit the Nissa now. And next turn, we can do whatever we want. We can do whatever we want. Nine Days is correct. That is the name of the band. Nailed it. Okay, so now they're probably going to crack Sakura Tribal to get this forest. And they're probably going to see a Crater Hoof on the top, and then they're just going to grab the Crater Hoof. You ready? Oh, they just draw the forest. And there's another forest. How nice. And they play the forest from hand. And now they have an Elves on top. And Elves is great because they can just transform it into a Crater Hoof next turn. Or they can transform this into a crater hoof this turn and kill us. Yep, no shit. <laughs> yeah, this deck is not. Uh, so five, six, seven, eight. Plus the 16. Again, it's 24 damage. And we can block four of it. <sighs> this has been a frustrating draft. Our, our deck just doesn't seem... Like, it, like, we don't have removal that we're playing. Like, we've gone 1-2 every single time, but I don't foresee us actually... Yeah, this deck is just missing something. Mike can do whatever he wants. Schultz wants to learn English learner to laugh at the jokes and not just your faces and your dyed hair. Wow. Wow. I feel attacked right now. Jenna, how did you learn English? Out of curiosity. Also, one other thing you guys can do to support the channel is head on over to manatraders.com. Manatraders has an awesome service where they let you borrow... Uh, it's a subscription service where they let you borrow physical cards. It's like physical decks. You can take them to GPs or GP trials or PTQs, things like that. Or you can borrow Magic Online cards, digital cards, so you can test on Magic Online. And uh, if you use the promo code and the link in my description below, you will get 20% off your first three months of a subscription. So that's pretty sweet. You should definitely check that out as well, guys. Never matters what language you learn. It's always the swears first. Yeah, that's true. But how do I curse in this language? They're trying to find uh, they're trying to find another shitty O2 opponent right now. They're having a tough time. I've always it's always weird to me that people learn um, uh, English through like movies or learn other languages through movies because every time I watch a movie that's in a foreign language. I never, I don't feel like I'm ever learning that language through that. So I'm always like, yeah, is it a, is it a conscious thing they're doing? Are they watching it with subtitles, and just trying to trying to connect the language that's being said and the the, the translation on the bottom? Are they just like, are they not doing that and they're just picking it up through context clues, and there's no subtitles and they're just listening to the language and picking up what these people are trying to say to each other and conveying? Like, I, I've always wondered how you can learn through just. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, immersion, right? Like if you're immersed in that language, I've always wondered what about the immersion is is helping you learn that language. Uh, I'm gonna mulligan this hand. Oh, this is this hand is great. We can put Crater of back because we have Tooth and Nail, and we can play Turn One Bird to Turn Two Domri. Buddy, you ain't never had a friend like me. Oh, and then we can play. Uh, no, we can't. <laughs> I got excited, but it's fine. Uh, I studied English practically since I was born. We are Mexican, so our native language is Spanish, but at the point, I'm not really sure. That's, yeah, that's actually, that's funny, because most people I know from Central or South America also know how to speak English. Um, I will keep, we will put Crater Hoof on the bottom. It's funny how much of the world knows um, a lot of English, and how few Americans who speak English know any other language. <laughs> I don't know any I don't know I haven't been able to learn any language that isn't programming yeah but that's still pretty good 
Turn two Domri seems great. Do we just neg Domri here? Yeah, what the hell? Why not? Dang it, biscuits! I wish I could activate him twice. One, two, three, four, You're five. Monster. <laughs> Is that greedy? Yes. Immersion is how I learned chemistry. I used the book as a pillow for the entire class and ended up with a B. I think you're thinking of osmosis, not immersion. Similar, but different. Also, can you teach your English? We will teach Spanish. That would be sweet, dude. I would 100% uh, agree to that. Spanish is a great language to learn. Um... All right, so we're definitely playing this. We don't have a land. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. We can just play it all. One, two, three, four, five. We take another two, but I guess that's okay. I mean, we're under so much pressure, you might not want to. Oh, we actually don't have to take two. We can play Land of War Elves. We'll give it haste. We can actually play this and give it haste. Um... Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we put a counter on this, we just get to tooth and nail with entwine next turn. Seems good. So we have, because we can use, we can activate it twice then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that seems good. I guess we could have also just used the Domri. I don't know, man. We have a an abundant, we have a, an abundance of riches. Is that what it's called? That works. An embarrassment of riches, that's the saying. Mike looking like a snack. Is that true? Is that true, you little snack you? <laughs> Don't ask me. But I did ask you. Uh, yeah, we'll just plus this dude. Add a green. Let's entwine it up. Oh, actually we're gonna have to we're gonna have to use devoted druid first. Add a one. Untap a roo. Add a one. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we're just going to use this. Instead of using all our creatures, we're just going to keep one up. One up, seven up. Let's get a wood phone, a crazy boy. And we'll put them both Thank into the board of life. And then this guy kills your black mana because it's the scariest land there is. And then I'll attack you for a lot, but I think you're dead. Do -do 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 -do. DM Harnack, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. But, like, I have to pause in the middle of my English sentences to figure out how to say what I'm thinking. How am I supposed to speak French? Yeah, that's true. That's true. You're welcome to come to Mexico, and we'll solve your fluency problem in a breeze. Also, Mike can come and have lots of tequila. Wow. That actually sounds like a sweet offer, dude. I would totally do that. We should we should plan a Mexico trip on Facebook. You ready? You ready for Mexico, buddy? I forgot to board in the sword because I was distracted and I was trying to hurry, but I'm going to keep this hand. I worry that real Mexican food is harder on people who are not necessarily, who don't necessarily eat a lot of meat. So me as a like pseudo partial vegetarian, I, think, I, I worry it might be rough, but hopefully... Hopefully, uh, uh, they can. Hopefully, they can accommodate. Go to Mexico and sing a story of a girl. They loved that there. I read it in a book. Yeah, that was when I remember that time. That she. That was actually when she cried a river and drowned the whole world. Right. She looks so sad in photographs. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why you don't like you don't like what we're doing here? Jesus. One, two, three, four, five. 
I've been flirting with some sweet monitor bruises. Patreon, the best way to get a deck. Uh, Patreon's not. You can actually just donate here. DM Harnack, send me an email if you want, and we can chat about it. Because if you guys are doing deck critiques or steps or stuff, like, usually I prefer if it's donated as, like, friends and family through PayPal. But I don't make a big deal of it. The reason is, like, at the end of the year, I have to pay taxes on, on deck critiques and stuff, on, like, PayPal payments that don't go friends and family. And I also get fees, so it's, like, doubly bad. Everyone in the chat, uh, say hi to Will. My friend Will is watching. He's not logged in, so he doesn't have a username, but he is watching. So sounds, shout, shout out to Will. This sounds like fake news. Did you just make up that person? I've never heard of this person. No, he just sent, he just sent me a message. Really? Yeah, he said, uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. He said, people calling you a snack on stream, lol. Okay, oh, my God. That is what that that is what happened. You not gonna give him a shout out? Yo, Will, what up? There you go. Michael B looking like a snack, boy. <laughs> What's your email? It's it's down below, but uh it's frank at franklapore.com. Pretty easy. Just my name followed by my full name. Yeah, we are just Frank, do you eat the fish? I'm sorry, what? Do you eat the fish? I do not eat fish. Don't worry, either you'll come back stronger or severe diarrhea. The important thing is that we will know. <laughs> See, the important thing is that we'll have the answer. And that's really all you can ask for, I think. Let's level you up. Let's level you up again. Level up again. So many levels. Buddy, you don't even know about my levels. Flip. So at this level, what happens? Now, all your other el elves you control add two green. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to your face, and I'm going to go to Wickaba. So now if they attack with the Wickaba, we can block with the Wolfiba. That's not this. My name followed by my full name at gmail.com. <laughs> oh, Lord. Jesus. Well, I, I hate to say it, but Mike has never mentioned you. I've been best friends with Mike for like 10 years, man. And Mike has never mentioned a person named Will. And uh, I just think that's really sad. That's not true. Isn't it? I mentioned him like when it, that one time when I had to fly back to Florida. I was like, oh yeah, I'm playing cards with my friend Will. You mentioned him when you, had, when you flew back to Florida. This was like 20, 2015. Yeah, but you're saying I've never You mentioned remembered mentioning him in 2015? Yeah, but you're saying that I've never mentioned him before. So I'm just saying. I just think, Michael, listen. Doesn't it bother you that Will looks so sad in photographs? Because <laughs> you, have, I know you absolutely love it when he smiles. Wow. This guy came back, and his wolf boy came back. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're doing it. No guts, no glory, my gentlemen's. They put a derogatory speaker into play. We put an Emrakul into play. I feel like we have the wow. advantage us. We used, uh, we used to play all the time, Frank, too, back when he had black hair. Wow, got him. Do I know Will? I'm sure you played with him before. He lives He lives like kind of out, out of our area, so he doesn't really play the same shops as much anymore. What's his last name? Inkle. That sounds super familiar, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if you're friends with him. This? I nope. I N C L E. I'm looking. I don't. Maybe not. He's like, I'm not even on Facebook. No, he is. He messaged me on Facebook. Oh my god. The conspiracy grows deep. I think you're making this up, man. Yeah, I'll show you. No, man, this is fake. Right this is you're making. Did you this spell up. with one L? It's one L. That yeah. Way. This is ridiculous. This is fake news, man. This isn't even a real person. Michael just made this dude up. Can you guys wow. even believe this? Oh, they had upheaval, so... Get wrecked, I guess. God, we always do it. We always get... Every time... You know what? I'm just... I'm tired of it, guys. I'm tired of it. Sounds made up. It sure does. I mean, 
mean, thankfully, we got this this tree speaker into nothing. But we do have a tree speaker, so that's that's the important part. Also, I doubt if you're in the chat, you're watching. But if anyone's watching uh, Game of Thrones, please no spoilers. <laughs> Much obliged. Frank out here getting catfished. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's my friend Will. You know Will. Buddy, nobody knows Will. Where's that food? How are they not at the restaurant yet? It's 9.50, and the food is supposed to be here by 9.47. So, uh... Awkward. Do I call? No, you just wait, man. Don't be a little okay. don't be a little baby. I do I call about my little foodsies who discard land, discard land, discard land. I don't feel like we're that far behind. Not even joke spoilers, they aren't that's true, because you don't know if it's a joke or not. So you watch the whole episode expecting it to happen. Or you know it doesn't happen, right? So even joke spoilers are shitty because then if you know it's a joke, you know that thing does not happen. So you've essentially right. spoiled it anyway. And it's don't be don't be that person. How much longer are you gonna be playing until this matches over, my dude? No! Oh, oh. Click you. Play you. So they have one, two, three, four, five. We have one, two, three, four, five as well. So it appears we are even. Now you have six. So you'll be playing a Primeval Titan or a Grave Titan or a Frost Titan or a Sun Titan or a Massacre Worm. And you don't have three black, though, so I guess Massacre Worm is not an option. I also don't think Sun Titan's an option either. That's true. I don't know why I said Massacre Worm is not an option, but I said nothing about Sun Titan. Maybe there's a holdup at the Chipotle. Oh, that's fine. I don't care about that. Oh, that's annoying. That's, that's very annoying. annoying. We knew they had that too, which is really frustrating. <sighs> that's literally every permanent we have. One, two, three, four. You got it, my dude. Well, next time we only have to tap three, so we can go one, two, three. We'll have three mana and we can play Huntmaster, which gives us more targets for this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. That's a lot. If they don't have anything, it's cool, right? Oh my god, what's happening? You guys, uh, why not level up there? Because we can't level up at instant speed. You can only level up at sorcery speed. Well, that's a big boy. That is the biggest of boys. <laughs> One, two, three. Dang it. Bobby Butters strikes again. <laughs> Hunter, stop looking at yourself. Gah! There's a Sir Nicol Bolas in the chat? Oh my god. What a controversial figure. I'm going to keep refreshing this until we know what's going on. At what point is it free? At what point is the restaurant closed and he didn't get there in time to pick it up? <laughs> it says heading to restaurant. It doesn't even say they're at the restaurant. Do they have like their car on this map at any point? Like, what if they're just in a different state? No, I don't think they're... I think... No, I have no idea. Oh, Crater Hoof. Well, shit. So, look, it's, again, they have 10 plus 9, that's 19, plus 5, it's 24. I guess we can jump block. And then I don't know, see how we lose now, actually. We go, we go to 2? Unless I miscounted again. I'm really bad at Crater Hoof math. Choose... Two, one, two. No. 
One, two. That'll that's, get us out of it. That's not going to do it. Nope, I don't like it. Okay, yeah. Well, I wish we brought in Sword of Feast and Famine here, but we did not. 30 minutes or less? I can't tell if that's a serious thing or if you're just making that old meme where your food's free in 30 minutes or less. <sighs> yeah, that's funny. Oh, drafting again after this? No, no. I'm going to be drafting tomorrow again at 2 p.m. Eastern time like you do and rob's actually coming over after work tomorrow so me and rob will be drafting or playing modern or legacy or whatever so be sure to give me that sub or that or that follow guys in the twitch it's a it's a helpful thing also check out the manatraders.com check out coolstuffinc.com check out meundies.com slash frank Lepore. all of those links are in the description below i will keep this we will far seek for the mountain that we don't have which is a mistake that we've made no we have stomping ground in the deck never mind yeah fantastic I was actually thinking of Yavimaya Elder that was the card I was thinking that I was regretful of its inclusion ooh great just great turn three Domri into uh, you know hmm 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 we could also just play this. Oh no, we can play this next turn because we're gonna be able to we're not gonna be able to use it this turn anyway. So we can Domri. Try to draw here. Oh wow, that's great. Huntmaster and probably spell skite here. Actually. Yeah, I like spell skite here. What was the other choice? Lana War Elf. Okay. So next turn we can go Arcane Artisan, put into play with this. One, two. One, two, three, and then if we hit a land, we can activate the Arcane Artisan. But don't you need three to activate it? Yes. And we'll get one from Domri. Oh, sure, sure. Okay, yeah. Well, that's obnoxious. Oh, that's good. All right, so we're going to go one, green, two, three, Arcane Artisan. Give it haste. Seems good. And they took our Emrakul. That's rude, man. Hey, little Woodfall Primus. And it's also not like... It's just a regular token. It's not like a makeshift mannequin token where, like, if they just target... Sammy, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out, as always, buddy. Really appreciate it. Chefs kiss good night. Chefs, ki chefs do kiss good night. That's what they do. Did you know chefs kiss good night? This is weird because I haven't gotten any updates on my phone. Like, they're not like, hey, buddy. Um, you know, they're not they're not telling me, like, that my food is late by 11 minutes now. Okay, so hold on. Hold on. We can play a bird, give it haste, put the crater hoof into play, and probably kill them from here. One, two. Do you see what's happening right now? Oh, hold on. Hold on. We get to play multiple things. We get to go green for bird. Give it haste. One, two for spell skite. One, two, three. Crater hoof. Uh, attack with a million gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah. This is where the game ends. I think it's Xaxes here. No, it's it's gonna be negative one, I believe. Yep, that'll do. I would love to see return to game negative one. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out manatraders.com. Check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. Check out Cool Stuff Inc. There are promo codes and discounts abundant abundant promo codes and discounts in the description below slam those like and subscribe buttons i really appreciate the support i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching